So hi everybody. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to chain, how to keep your uh, your chains on the spot um, in good condition so that whenever you do have to chain, they're ready to go and they're not stuck and then you have a hard time untangling them because they could get super tangled and when it's super cold and um, it's super hard to work with the chain. So you have to keep in mind, there's a few things you're gonna need. Make sure you have waterproof jackets, pants, boots, and stuff like that. Most likely you know, but sometimes it's like, like when I had to change the first time, I had a hard time. It took me like two hours and a half, and mainly it was because I didn't have the appropriate equipment, starting with the appropriate shoes, appropriate lightning, because that day, where I had to chain like around 4 a.m. And the thing is, there's low visibility. You can't really see. I, I had a lamp, but then I had to be holding it and I didn't have the appropriate equipment. So when it comes to chaining, to make your life easier, there's things that you're gonna need. So let's start with this. You could get something like this or a bar of any kind. I find that this helps kind of sometimes because when you're putting the chains, sometimes you need to pull them. So a tool like this would probably work for you. Uh, I think that this is gonna work. Waterproof and warm gloves. Waterproof, they have to be waterproof because when you're touching the chains, they get cold to sell. So you're gonna need some waterproof gloves. Believe me, the first time I had to chain, I have to have marks because it was terrible. Like I didn't have the appropriate gloves. I didn't have appropriate anything. So um, you're going to need this. This is to hold the chains in place and so they don't fall out as much. Um, you're going to want a lamp. <laughs> and then a headlamp as well. So you, you, you have your hands free, you know. Whatever is, you know what this is. This to tie the to tighten the, the lock of the chain and ah, I just got this sh um, shovel whatever so let me show you so these are the single chains this is how they look let me show you how to properly put them right here on the spot so whenever you have to um, chain they're ready to go and they're not stuck in that area the more organized you have them there, the better it is because when when you're out there and it's super cold, they get super stiff and it's hard to like move them around. So let me show you how um, I go about arranging them. So let me see if I could put the phone right here so you can see better. So what you wanna do So now your goal is to grab them. I already have them set and I'm gonna put them right here. Let me see if I could do this with one, with one hand. So I already have them arranged. So you grab them, Ooh. and then you see? So this one is ready to go in case I have to chain. I have them all arranged the same way right here. And I have the double right here. This is considered a single. And right here I have the doubles. Like sometimes you have to chain the two, two tires at the same time. And for that you need doubles. But if you have to put singles, this is the way you wanna arrange them. Let me go ahead and see. Let's say, um, let's say that it's a bad day have to chain right let me go ahead and grab the chain ah, they're so heavy okay
they're kind of pricey so there you go and actually i want to draw you guys like a diagram of how you should be chaining your tires uh, depending on how much depth there is of snow how um safe or, or unsafe and how much friction there is so let me go ahead and go in back to the truck let me show you guys that diagram so you guys have a better idea you should always be looking up at the dot regulations uh dashboard or website because that's gonna be 100 percent more accurate but i'm gonna give you the information that i have so far and i hope this helps you guys the same thing goes for the trailer and if you are just starting to chain it's your first time i would say take it easy do a tire at a time because it could be it could get overwhelming when you have to chain at least four tires and then the thing is um it's a uh, super cold and bad weather and then sometimes it's very low there's very low visibility so it's gonna be harder for you to see and with that being said um you're gonna struggle a little more if it's your first time but if you do one tire at the time it's gonna at least you're gonna be able to chain properly take your time um make sure that when it's there's bad weather you have the sufficient time to be out there because sometimes things happen especially when there's bad weather so you prepare have the appropriate equipment and always 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 check your weather um channel and stuff like that so you know what's gonna be happening where where uh at whatever region you're gonna be because it gets really tough out there chaining super cold if you don't have the appropriate stuff trust me it's gonna be 20 times harder so let me go back into the truck it is best if you practice before going to places where it might be snowing um because like sometimes uh we get we kind of tend to get carried away and because it happened to me um i went to idaho and honestly like i had an idea of how to chain where i would put them and stuff like that but I never really had time to practice at my terminal or anywhere else. Honestly, I never made the time when I head over there. And the thing is that it's gonna happen whenever, like like when you least expect it, like, you don't know. So you just wanna be prepared. You wanna practice before going to uh, places that's gonna be snowing uh, mostly. And you wanna be uh, prepared, not only in the sense that you um, know how to chain, that's, practically like the most important thing but also like even though even if you do know how to chain but you don't have the appropriate equipment and um and stuff like that it's gonna make you, uh the process of chaining a hundred times harder and then the thing is that time runs uh super fast and sometimes like you know like sometimes uh uh, the first time I had to chain, it took me like an hour, like two hours and 30 minutes. It took me like forever. And that was, um, part of that was because I didn't have the appropriate gloves. I didn't have the appropriate shoes, the appropriate clothing and uh, tools that I should have had that I didn't know, you know, like, cause I watched some videos on how to chain and I got the idea of it, but I never really like practiced it a hundred, uh, like a hundred percent or nor did I like, I should have expected that, but I don't know why. I don't know what was going on in my brain, but honestly, I did not have the appropriate equipment. So, okay, make sure some of the things that you 100% want to have. So, I bought this for like emergency at a, um, at a um, truck stop in case you don't have anything and you will think you might be heading to a place that's gonna be snowy and stuff like that just buy one just in case you need it if you are gonna change put them on put them on no matter what no matter who tells you no put them on trust me you're gonna get wet if you don't put this and it's super cold and terrible so <laughs> like look at these pants <laughs> look they look funny and i don't care you know look they ripped oops but whatever something like this would help make sure you have snow clothing or waterproof outfit something that's going to help you when you're chaining um if you could buy a waterproof rug you're going to have to be kneeling down when you're chaining so if you want to buy like a waterproof one of those target one waterproof or tub rugs that would help or something similar i don't know um 
because you're gonna have to kneel down and you're gonna have to be reaching down to like connect the the chains and stuff like that so you are gonna need oh, uh, something to put on the floor so it makes your life easier with that being said also get waterproof gloves or or super warm gloves that are waterproof um, I have this right now but I need to get some other ones because this I got them uh, like really fast like because of the emergency I had I got this um, um, waterproof gloves one thing that you might want to get it's optional but i feel like it helps me or it has helped me um it's this right here um it helps like when you have to uh, remove some of the like ice and snow that's around like the tire to make your life easier like if you want to like like i said it's it's optional you could get it at a truck stop um that's if you want to get it but i would suggest get uh get something like that um i find that it, it helps me i'm a girl so waterproof gloves waterproof shoes most more, more like boots and stuff like that pants that are waterproof i would suggest get at least four uh four per tire so so you have eight uh one two three four four tires i mean one two three eight tires <laughs> my bad <laughs> so you're gonna have to sometimes you might have to chain eight tires uh, i mean if you do have to chain like eight tires i would suggest just like wait for the weather to get better but if you can't not wait you might have to chain the eight tires and you're gonna need a lot of this so at least four per tire and try to keep extras just in case you need them let me go ahead and show you some of the diagrams um some of uh so keep in mind you want to always check on the dot department of transportation website to double check the um which ones which tires should get a chain and stuff like that but from what i know from what i like from my experience from what i've seen other drivers say and i also looked at the driver uh at the dot website um so some of the ways that you want to chain you have at least like five different ways that you could ch chain so this one on the drive axles you could you could chain the first two okay so never chain your steering tires always chain your drive tires and your uh, tandem or trailer tires that's what i call them uh you could try uh you could chain this two right here the two at the front if you chain this two you could skip the second row or the second column i don't know whatever and then you could chain the next one and then skip this one so it would be every other that's one way another option you have would be this two right here so skip the first chain the second skip the first and chain the last from your trailer okay that's an option that you've got if you want to do it like that you could also do them diagonal and you could mix and match like if like you chain like if today you chain some uh let's say if you, today you change this and then you have to change tomorrow then you change this today and then tomorrow you do the opposite so that all your tires have the, like the same kind of wear kind of thing i would say you could also do every uh, like you could do them in like a zigzag kind of thing so you could chain this one this one and then so you skip every other so if you chain this one you skip this one you chain this one and you skip that one straightforward if you if you skip this one you change this one you chain this one if you chain this one you skip that one and chain chain the last one you see in like a zigzag kind of way and then the same thing goes for this you could chain this one and skip the next one and then chain this one and skip the last one same here you skip this one and chain this one skip this one and chain the last one so i don't know if it makes sense but that's the best way i could show you guys because 
like it's hard to <laughs> i don't know if it makes sense uh, and excuse my terrible drawing so this is like the small diagram i don't know if it's gonna help you i don't know if you could see it like that that's something like that you could also do only your drive tires which means only this this and that and you could skip that like that you could do whichever one and unless there's a requirement where you have to do the eight but uh depending on how much snow there is that's what's gonna make you uh determine how many tires you want to train if you see like super bad super snowy and it's like an emergency you really have to go somewhere you don't have enough food like you know you don't have time whatever the case may be you might have to change your eight tires there your eight tires always check your weather channels always ch always check the dot website page um to see what the new regulations are and stuff like that um for right now that's the way uh you should be chaining or like a pretty decent way of doing it uh if you want to be 100 percent sure and uh, i'm gonna try to post the dot link right on my um description or on the video i don't know and i'm gonna show you like a paper of how to train depending on how many axles depending if you have like a double trailer like two trailers three trailers there's different ways you could do it for depending on how many axles you have but for the most part if you're just driving a regular 53 um foot, uh trailer or truck whatever uh that's how you want to do it um so you have the idea right there so if it's like just a little bit snow and you're required to chain I would suggest just to be on the safer side do four four tires so like I was saying make sure that when you are chaining you have the appropriate equipment I know like uh, if you're a guy or like if you've done it before you you have more experience so you might want to do you might do two tires at the time at a time or four tires at a time um, that depends on how comfortable you feel uh, chaining I suggest do this two first if you want to do it two at a time or just one at a time take your take take your time do it appropriately and everything is gonna work fine because if you rush things putting chains is complicated it's hard they're heavy it's cold low visibility so you want to you know work smarter not harder 